wasifiwe kwa majina naitwa Caroline Oloni nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana 
ni mke wa mume mmoja na mama wa watoto wengi. Haleluya. Nasikia kunyenyekea sana kuweza kupata nafasi hii ya kuweza kunena nanyi. Ninajua imempendeza Bwana na sichukulii kama jambo la kawaida. Namshukuru Mungu kwa hilo na pia nashukuru mtumishi askofu na mke wake na watumishi wote kwa kunipa kibali cha kuweza kusimama yenu. Haleluya. Na washukuru nyinyi pia kwa kuweza kufika kwa ibada hii. Ninajua umetenga muda wako kuweza kufika na Bwana nakusudi nawe. Amen. Kwa hivyo jipigie makofi kwa kuweza kufika. Siku ya leo tunaenda kunena about a faithful servant. And our key scripture is going to be Matthew 23 Media mkeza kunisaidia ninge to write both versions Matthew 25:23 It is about the parable of the talent and uh, I am only going to underscore that bit that says faithful servant. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Hallelujah. Katika maisha haya ya wokovu, God is faithful and we know that attribute of him that he remains to be faithful even when we are not faithful. Amen. And so, kama wa kristo, tumeitua katika kuwa wa minifu, katika kazi yake, kama wa tumishi wake. Mana, kristo likuwa mwa minifu, hata katika kifo cha nsalaba. Na sisi kama wa kristo, pia tunaitajika kuwa wa minifu. Watumishi wa minifu. Amen. Ili mwishowe, aweze kusema, well done good and faithful servant. In Kiswahili it says, Bwana wake akamwambia, vema mtumwa mwema na mwaminifu. Ulikuwa mwaminifu kwa machache, nitakuweka juu ya mengi. Ingie katika furaha ya Bwana wako. Hallelujah. So that is our key scripture today and we are going to underscore the word faithful servant. So we begin by understanding the meaning of faithful servant. Faithfulness is having or showing true and constant support or loyalty over something, a group, an organization, or somebody. Kama vile tu kwandoa pia, tunaitajika kuwa faithful. Hivyo hivyo katika kanisa, kama umeekwa katika dehebu, should I say it a ship pen? A ship pen flani, like now you are a member of GRC. You are supposed to be a faithful servant. Amen. Even as you are faithful to God, you are supposed to be faithful even to this association. That is the meaning of the word faithful. Having or showing true and constant support or loyalty over some group or organization. Amen. So you being here is for a cause and it's for a good cause. Amen. Another meaning for faithfulness means to be constant, to be trustworthy, and to be reliable. Amen. And as I have said, our God is faithful. And so he desires us to be faithful even when, he remain, even when we remain to be unfaithful. His attribute is a faithful God. That is his name. So we are, we are supposed to look unto him so that you can be found faithful stewards. Amen. The meaning of the word servant. Eh? A servant of the Lord is someone who obeys the Lord. This means serving when he's di where he has directed you to and not going when he, where he has not directed you to. Yani akisema nenda hivi, unaenda hivi. Akisema usiende, usiende. And uh, in, the Greek, in the Bible, in the New Testament, servant is a Greek word meaning doulos, which means one who gives himself to the will of another. Amen. So us, we are called servants of the Lord. Amen. So we should be able to be willingly give up our lives for the sake of Christ. 
And in the scriptures, you're going to find examples. And one good example is Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. And to na come out in the Kiswahili term is ni, ni Christo, and we are wa Christo. So if he is the, the Christ and we are the Christians, then we need to resemble him in every aspect. If he was able to remain faithful, he lived on earth, lived your life, passed the challenges that you are going through, and still he remained to be a faithful servant. That is what we are called for. Amen. That we should be found faithful servants at the end of it all. He remained faithful even to the death of cross. Amen. So that is where we are called for, to be a faithful servant. Amen. <coughs> if you look at Paul also in the book of Ephesians 3, 1, he remained faithful. Before he, he was called Saul, he was a persecutor of Christ. But the moment that he, 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 he became Paul, he called himself a born slave of Christ. Amen. Meaning he gave his life willingly to serve Christ. That even when he was captured in the prison, he did not see it as the, the cause of his captors were the Jews or the Roman. But he saw it as I have been captured by Christ. Amen. Because it is him who has allowed this to happen. Amen. And even us as Christians, when we are going through challenges, what do we see? Ask yourself, what do you see? Are you seeing the circumstances that are, you are going through or you are seeing God that has allowed it to happen for you? Because he knows that you are able to go through it and he is faithful. Amen. So if you know the faithfulness of God, that you can trust him. The same way that Paul laid his life and said, I am a born slave of Christ. Amen. Uh, there are qualities that uh, a faithful servant should have. So we are going to look at them. And the first quality is obedience. Amen. As a faithful servant, we are called to obedience. And one example in the Bible that we can find is Abraham. Abraham was promised so many things by God that he would be a father of nations. And it did not take one year for that promise to be fulfilled. But it took around 25 good years waiting. Amen. But he was found to be faithful. After 25 years... God gave him a son, Isaac. And the same Lord asked him to, gi to give that son to sacrifice. And yet he was obedient. Even to that, after 25 good years of waiting, then when he gives it to you, and you have no other hope, and he's called you a father of nations, and you are not young. He was 100 years plus. We are called to be obedient, servants of the Most High, because that is one of the characteristics of a faithful servant, obedience. So us, even in the walk of faith, in this Christian walk of faith, we are called to be found obedient in our walk of faith. We are here as a church and as an organization, and there are times that we call for meetings. You are called into ministry. Why are you not faithfully serving there? What is costing your loyalty not to be found in that service? Because you have been called into that ministry. Just as in a family, when you have a family, all of us are partakers of that family. And you want to contribute something. So here as GRC, in, in GRC, we are a family. And we are called to contribute to the well-being of this kingdom, this ship pen. Amen. And everybody has a part to play. Kila moja wetu. Wezi sema mimi hakuna kitu ambao nineza kufanya. A faithful servant is obedient. Being obedient in that call, that gift that God has given you, that ministry, that burden that God has laid in your heart, be it going for door to door, are you doing it faithfully? Be it evangelism, are you doing it faithfully? Be it worshipping, are you a, a sound member or a prayer warrior? Are you doing it faithfully? Being sanctuary keeping, being the kitchen department, ushering, are you a faithful and obedient servant. Can you be found to be a faithful servant by showing obedience to that course that you've been called? Amen. So we have found that one of the characteristics is obedience. Amen. So we pray that God helps us to look into that and we are found to be obedient even as we are called to be faithful servants. Amen. Uh, 
another characteristics is uh, humility and uh, humility I have said Jesus was humble even to the death of the cross in this place we have a father and uh, one of the characteristics that most people have come and said about him is that he's a humble man even as members of this ship pen, do you desire to tap that and walk in humility that also you can be said wewe pia umnyenyekevu kama babako because a son begets a son so wewe kama mshirika wa hapa what is that that is hindering you usitembee katika unyenyekevu what is that pride that is sprouting in you that self confidence in self that is making you not to be found to be humble because you've put your trust in men or in attributes or in gifts that is causing you not to be found to be humble examine yourself and ask yourself what is hindering me from walking into this humility so that god can help us amen you could be asking how can one develop humility of a faithful servant uh there are some things that i wrote here as mentioned humility comes from continually living in god's presence this is due to prayer fellowship studying god's word and living a holy life amen when you do those things then you are able to develop humility i have said humility comes from continually living in god's presence this is done through prayer fellowship studying god's word and living a holy life another way you can develop humility as a servant of god is uh, it comes from not comparing yourself with others mimi ni karotu i cannot preach like any other person i will preach like me the way god has enabled me to and even you in that ministry that god has called you be yourself be original don't be like somebody else don't compare yourself with somebody else that the lord may use you because when you start comparing yourself with other person then you can easily be unaweza vunjwa moyo utaona mimi siwezi ku hit that note vile makena na hit mimi siwezi kufanya hivi in that range that you can reach god is going to use you in that area amen humility also comes as a result of discipline as we put others before us and in first peter 5 we will find that we submit to one another and putting them to be first considering them to be better than ourselves then you can develop that humility humility is a discipline that can be unaweza unaweza tamani kukaa hivyo the way you can you can discipline yourself to be studying the word unaweza mwa kuwa mnyenyekevu and not allow pride creep in or sprout out in you amen uh, as a faithful servant we are called to be selfless that is one of the characteristics of a faithful servant we you are called to be selfless or i am called to be selfless and that is found in the book of philippians 2 3:5 and we were studying the book of philippians so we are not going to read that <coughs> And that also talks about humility because you consider others to be better than yourself. And this is one of the attributes of Christ who suffered even to death. Amen. A faithful servant works through God's power. A faithful servant works through God's power. Amen. Yaani huyu mtendakazi mwaminifu ama mtumishi mwaminifu hajipigi kifua kuwa yeye anaweza anajua kuwa nguvu zake zinatoka kwa Kristo In 1 John 15:5 it talks about I am the vine and if we abide in him then he abides in us then you are able to bear much fruit So when you are faithful the only way that you are able to bear much fruit is when you realize that the power that can be able to enable you to be a faithful servant is not from your own it is not by might it is not by strength but by the power of the holy spirit so it is god who enables you to walk a faithful to be a faithful servant amen a 
and you could be asking yourself how can I allow God's power to work through me God's power God's power works through us when we believe and recognize our weaknesses Amen the moment you realize that I cannot do it by myself it is only through the power of the Holy Spirit then I have realized that it is through God's power that I can be found a faithful servant. Amen. God, God's power works through us when we pray. How can you get and unezaje kupata hiyo nguvu kuitwa mtendakazi mtumishi mwaminifu ni kwa kuomba. Amen. When you pray and all of us are called to the place of prayer. However much we can do it corporately, that as an individual, do you have a separate time, a day, a, week, uh, a day or an hour that you, you are praying concerning this ministry, or you are praying concerning yourself, or you are praying concerning the ministry that God has given you as an individual, so that you can be able to get power and be able to be found a faithful servant. And that we, we find even in the life, if you look at the lifestyle of Jesus, when he was here on earth, one of the things that he did, he led a prayerful life. Amen. And uh, in Mark 9, 29, when Jesus told the disciples that uh, that demon can only be cast out through prayer and fasting, he had called for you here, uh, that is the point when he was going for transfiguration, and he had set apart James, John, and Peter to go to the mountain, and the nine were left behind. So, could it be that the nine that were left behind were not praying, were not reading the word? That is why when now this, this trial came before them to cast this demon, they were unable to do it because they were found not prayerful. Waliomba that lakini how when they had not lived a life of prayer. That is how a lifestyle of prayer is important for a Christian, to be found a faithful servant. So you need to culture a lifestyle of prayer. Here, kama kanisa tumeeka siku za maombi, ambao inafaa kujia kama vile tumejia hivi leo. Tuesday and Friday. But when you come to those services, you'll find very few people. Why? We are so comfortable in our comfort zones. Tuko sawa kabisa, yani haya, ni jumapili tu. Why are we so comfortable with being Sunday Christians? God has called us for so much more in this walk of faith. His promises are so many in the Bible, our blueprint. But you cannot be able to access them if you do not know them. You cannot be able to access this God's power if you are not prayerful. Where, when do you pray? When we call corporate prayer here on Tuesday and Friday to fast and pray for a church, you are not found. Now, you are so important to us. We don't want to leave you behind. So kindly let us look into that and be able to be found prayerful and changing our lifestyle so that when we call for prayers, we are found as a church. Amen. God's power works in us when we abide in his word. And that is in John 15:5. When we live and abide in his presence, hapo ndo tunapata power. Unaposoma lile neno, unaposikia nyimbo za kuabudu, unapokaa katika mafundisho, then you gain the power to be found a faithful servant. Amen. Faithful servants are made by God. Amen. That is one characteristic again. They are made. Made. Wanafanywa na mungu. Ntumishi mwaminifu wanafanywa na mungu. Ujifanyi. It is only God that can make you. Amen. And this we find in the book of Acts 26.16. When Paul was called. He was transformed. Akafanywa. Kuwa ntumishi. 
in Mark 1.17, Jesus tells Peter, come and I will make you fishers of men. I'm underlining the word make. Amen. So, ni mungu tu anaiza kukufanya wewe kuwa mtumishi mwaminifu. Amen. You cannot do it by your own self. It's only him that can make you. And maybe you are asking yourself, how does God make me a faithful servant? That is a key question. So God can make faithful servants through trials. Hallelujah. Zile changamoto unapitia. Ndiyo zina kufanya wewe kuwa a faithful servant. He makes you a faithful servant. We must allow patience and perseverance to have its perfect work in us through trials. It is not easy. He's not saying it's going to be easy. It isn't. But it's going to be difficult. But where is going to be your focus? Whom are you going to look unto in that time? Are you going to look at the, the greatness of the circumstance? Or you are going to look at the greatness and the might of God? He is the Lord God Almighty. The Lord great and mighty in battle. That is what you should see him at the time you are passing through a challenge or a trial. Amen. And this you see in Job, chapter 1. When Job was going through so much, so much in one day, and nobody, hakuna mtu ambao mepitia zile changamoto ambayo Job alipitia, wezi sema wewe mefika ata robo, ya zile ambayo Job alipitia, and that happened in one day. They were coming like after every, mtu ana, bada wajamaliza kusema, mungina mefika na mashtake yake, bada wajamaliza, and yet, he remained faithful. He remained faithful through all that trial. And there is no one single day he was able to curse God. Instead, he blessed the name of the Lord, who is the giver of all things and the maker of all things. Amen. Can we be able to come to that place when you're going through challenges that you will not look at who came and who did not come? You are not going to look at uh, where, where are no people helping me? Why is this one not calling me? But you're going to know that your source of help is going to be Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. Amen. Because he is faithful to provide all your needs according to the riches of his glory. Amen. Another example is Joseph. I am giving example of those who are made faithful through trials in the Bible. Joseph had a dream that his brothers are going to bow to him. It did not happen. Like That is the only time that he saw that vision and that, that ended. Then he went a place of waiting. No response, no nothing. Umepeleko, ukafanyo wa mtumwa Egypt. Ukifika Egypt. Potiphar's wife is here. Na majaribu yake. Umepeleko wa prison. You are still, if you are human, wewe kibinadamu ungejuliza. Where is that dream? Is it really coming true? But he remained faithful. He did not waver in faith. Alibakia steady first. Even through those trials. And he was found a faithful servant. Made through trials. Amen. Another example we have of people who were, who were made faithful through trials is David. David was persecuted by Paul, by Saul. But he did not waver in faith. He remained faithful. He was dependable. He was reliable. And he knew the God that he served. And so he was made a faithful servant. Amen. Another way that God makes us faithful servants is through the waiting season. The waiting season. A period hambao hatupendi sana because it comes with silence. Hakunanga sauti unasikia, likuonyesha hivi ama metuma mta akakwambia, buwana amesema takuinua. Alafu nangojea hapo kwa kuinuliwa hapo. Mwaka wanu.
Hallelujah. So the waiting period is not a very good season for Christians. But yet, there are people who went through it and triumphed. And they were called faithful servants. And one of them is Abraham. Amen. So even us, we are called to be found faithful through the waiting period. I have said it's not a very pleasing period or season of life, but in focus to God, and we are able to triumph. Amen. I had said David waited for 15 years before he became king. 15 good years. And then 15 years, unazifanya hide and seek na Sauli for him to be called. Hello. Hallelujah. So he waited for 15 years to be the king of Israel. Hallelujah. God makes faithful servants through his word. 2 Timothy 3, 16, 7, 17. We are made when we study the word. When you study the word is when you are able to understand and know. And that is our theme scripture for this year. That I may know you. You'll only know him or be made a faithful servant when you study the word of God. Amen. You can add Philippians 3.10 uh, to 2 Timothy 3.16 and 17. Where I have said God makes faithful servants through his word. Amen. God makes faithful servants through discipleship. Discipleship is what makes us faithful servants. Amen. Typically, God makes us faithful servants by training us through other faithful servants. Like now, here we are, and we have a spiritual father. The more we come every day and partake of the word of God that the Lord has released to him, then we are being discipled, and we are being made to be faithful servant. Sasa wewe ukitira kuja kanisani, umekaa tu nyumbani, unapoteza ile discipleship. Amen. When we plan for meetings and you do not come, unapoteza ile discipleship. Amen. And uh, in the Bible, we find examples of uh, Elijah disciple Elisha, Jesus disciple the 12 disciples. Paul disciple Timothy and Barnabas Mark. So ask yourself, wewe unaenda ku disciple nani? Because our great commission is that we may go out and preach the good news to our community. What is your desire 2023? Whom do you desire to disciple? Do you have one particular person that you have a burden for that you are praying for? could be me <laughs> that you want uh, I, I'm your burden so you want to pray for me it could be somebody else that is in the church that has not yet reached the level because there are levels in this walk of faith so maybe you are seeing somebody bad in the praise and worship we have a mentorship or a discipleship program I would call it what about the other departments or what about you who has grown in faith and he's seeing there's somebody weak. What are you going to do to pull that person up? Ili tuwezekwenda pamoja. Kama kanisa. So make it your goal this year to disciple somebody. So that by the end of the year you are able to stand and say, I caro discipled. Amen. And it is for the glory and honor of our Lord Jesus. Amen.
so to conclude eh, what are the marks of a faithful servant that I've talked about huh? a faithful servant suffers willingly to Christ and others a faithful God trusts God's sovereignty unatambua ukuu wa Mungu katika yale mambo ambayo unayapitia are you able to identify God and say Mungu ni mkuu hata katika hili and is able to make a way for me a faithful servant seeks to understand God's mysteries and God mysteries is the God's word amen a faithful servant are made by God a faithful servant works through God's word a faithful servant are humble a faithful servant is selfless. Amen. So our desire, or my desire, even as I was bringing this word to us today, is that at the end of it, God, God is able to find us to be faithful servant. Therefore, we are called to serve as our master Jesus did. So that uh, 1 Corinthians 4.2 In this regard, it is expected of managers that each one of them to be found faithful. Hilo ndiyo tamaniyo langu, siku ya leo. Kuwa at the end of it all, we shall be found to be faithful. Amen. That we shall be called faithful servants of our most Jesus. Because anakuja na ujira wake. And that day, he will look at every steward and what he gave you. Were you found to be a faithful steward in that little so that you can be entrusted with much? Are you faithful in that ministry? Are you faithful in that gift that God has given you? Are you faithful in that calling that God has given you? That at the end of it, he shall be able to say, well done, my faithful servant. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Amen and God will bless us.